we know enough of the practical sciences that allow the material world to take form and to, to be shaped by the human will. What we must know now is about the soul of each other and to be in agreement about the soul work so that we don't consistently take from this earth substances um, and transmute them into forms of self-interest where we accumulate so much wealth and create so much poverty. It's out of balance. Los Angeles is a microcosm of the world where every ethnic group on earth is represented. In 1992, the rebellions in Los Angeles resulted in great pain, suffering, and devastation. Out of the ashes rose a symbol of hope, a symbol of unity, a symbol for our times. It's gorgeous. It's breathtaking. That would be the original motherhood of civilization. It's beautiful. It's a work of art. I think it's awesome. It's fantastic. I like that. I think it's beautiful. I really do. I, I, think it's, I think anyone that can do something like that has a lot of talent. It has a lot of talent. It's beautiful. I think it's really beautiful. I made sure I got a picture of it. It's great to finally have something like this, you know? Yeah. This is great. And she's so gorgeous. It's me! <laughs> I'm up there. That's me up there. It's fabulous. The, the, the sister is standing on the world. In 1992, world-renowned artist and sculptor Nigel Benz had a vision. He would create a symbol of peace that had the potential to transform consciousness and unite humanity. After the LA uprisings, I wanted to do something to help um, unify people. One of the first ideas I thought about was a monument, a monument to peace. Born in Battersea, England, and growing up in New Jersey, Nigel knew that he was destined to become an artist. Along the way, he would go on to become a well-known martial arts expert author, stuntman, and fight coordinator. As an artist and sculptor, Nigel would work with some of the top people in the fields of art, music, and entertainment. For nine months, Nigel and an international team of artists, sculptors, architects, and foundrymen worked day and night around the clock to create his 16-foot masterpiece. The Mother of Humanity. We're hoping that we, as a family, can do many more things here in the Watts area. This actually came as a result of us uh, changing direction uh, towards uh, uh, trying to create tourism here in Watts, uh, stimulate art and culture, bring pride and uh, history to the youth of this community. The feather represents peace, truth, and righteousness. The pioneer dot symbolizes higher spiritual insight. Her left hand welcomes children of all nations. Her right breast represents the milk of Mother Africa that has nourished all nations on earth. 
Her left foot strides forward, takes action to stamp out evil. Africa, America, Australia, Brazil, China, India, and Spain are locations for the Mother of Humanity. The outline of the shape of Mother of Humanity reflects the birthplace of humanity. Africa. She is the cradle of civilization. She represents all of us. It is interesting that she is 16 feet tall. Thank you, Nigel. Because from where we stand, we must always look up at her. We must always look up and pay this woman the tribute that she deserves. But we also stand on her shoulders. And we freely give our love to the future that we have to now give birth to. This is what I think the hierarchical gesture of the mother of humanity standing on this world. Can we take a stand for something of what this world's potential can be? She holds that for us. One family, one future. I've not seen ya, I've no One family, one future. Une famille, une future, et un futur. One family, one future. My God, I One family, one future. Una familia, un futuro. One family, one future. Ek parivar, ek bhavishya. One family, one future. Yes.